All right, let's go through and look at some different example problems. So with this first example, we need to order the expressions from least to greatest. So essentially, we need to figure out what all of these expressions evaluate to. And we know 5 squared is 25, because we just calculated that above. And 4 squared plus 2 squared, well, 4 to the second power, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 times 2 is 4, so this would be 20. And then this last one, 6 squared minus 6, we do the exponents first, so 6 times 6 is 36, and now we can do subtraction, so we get 30. So least to greatest, the 4 squared plus 2 would be first, or I should say 4 squared plus 2 squared, then the 5 squared is in the middle, and the 6 squared minus 6 is the greatest. Now, moving on to example number 2, we need to evaluate the following expression. So I'm going to rewrite the order, and when I write PEMDAS, I usually write the M and the D together and the A and the S together. That just reminds me that multiplication and division are really the same thing, just opposites, and the same can be said of addition and subtraction. So I don't see any parentheses, so we can move on to exponents next. So we have 2 to the 8th power, which is 2 multiplied by itself 8 different times. And so if we do this, we got 4, then 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, and 256. And then if we rewrite this, we have 256 minus 10 minus 15 divided by 3. So then after exponents, we go to multiplication and division. There's only one expression here that contains either multiplying or dividing. So we can do 15 divided by 3, which is 5. So you get 256 minus 10 minus 5. And then now we can go to addition and subtraction. 256 minus 10 would be 246. Minus 5 would be 241. But again, if you just type this directly into the calculator, you should be able to get the exact same answer. Now, you don't want to do that to begin the problem. You want to be able to solve this by yourself, but the calculator is great at checking your work. And this material is so fundamental for everything following an algebra. So you don't want to cheat yourself on this. You definitely want to achieve mastery of order of operations before moving to anything more complicated. Just because, as you'll see, when you get into algebra, you use this concept over and over and over again. On to example number three. Again, we're evaluating the expression. Now we have 8 to the third power, 8 times 8 times 8. This would be 64 times 8, which you can either put this into a calculator or you can do 8 times 60. Let me rewrite that 8 really quick. So you can do 8 times 60, which is 480, and then add that to 8 times 4, which is 32. 480 plus 32 would be 512. So when we rewrite this, we get 512 minus 9 times 2 divided by 3. And like I said, with multiplication and division, you can really do them in the same step. So you have the choice of either dividing by 3 first or multiplying 9 times 2 first. And since dividing by 3 is just going to give us a fraction, I'm going to multiply first. So you get 512 minus 18 divided by 3. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. So 512 minus 6. And this ends up getting us 506. But from this step, you could have done division first. 2 divided by 3 is just 2 thirds. And 9 times 2 thirds, if we write 9 as a fraction, we can multiply straight across, you still get 18 over 3, which is still 6. So it didn't matter which way you did it first. In both cases, you get the same answer. And that answer is 506. Now, this one, we need to match each expression to its exponential form. So again, we're going to simplify everything and then see what the solution should be. So we're going to do parentheses first. So we get 5 when we do 3 plus 2 because we can simplify that set of parentheses. And then multiplied by 5 gives us 25. 5 cubed we know is 5 times 5 times 5. This is 25 times 5 again gives you 125. And then 10 squared over 2, you do the exponents first. 10 times 10 is 100 divided by 2 is 50. So this is correct, and these two need to flip. 
So this would be 125 and this would be five squared. And let's do one more example problem. We have this expression here and let me just rewrite our order of operations just so that we have it. And we know we need to do parentheses first. So we can ask ourselves, can we simplify this expression in parentheses? And in this case we can, since eight minus five is just three. We're gonna raise that to the fourth power and then add that to seven squared. The next step, we did parentheses, now we do exponents. So we have three to the fourth, which is just three times three times three times three. This is nine, that's nine. Nine times nine gives us 81. And seven squared, we know it's just seven times seven, which is 49. So rewriting this, we have minus four times three to the fourth, but we know that's 81, plus seven squared, which is 49. And then minus four times 80 would be minus 320. And then minus four times one is minus four. So this would be minus 324 plus 49. And if we add 50 to this, that would bring us to minus 274. And so we got to add one back. So this is minus 275. But again, just take this and put it directly into the calculator as it's written assuming you have a graphing calculator. And for the exponents, remember, you can just use a caret and then whatever your exponent is.